My name is Rohan Patel. I'm 15 years of age. I come from India, but I lived in UAE my whole life. And my main hobbies would be tennis and football. Rohan per se is a very confident, uh, very active, very smart, and uh, you know, fearless person. I love quad biking, dirt biking, parasailing, paragliding. I love planes and I love helicopters and I love lots of adventurous stuff. I didn't know myself what the problem was. Hi guys, how's it going? Good, good. Just wanted to inform you guys that we won't be able to make it this trip this time. Oh, the same problem with uh, Rohan, he won't be able to fly. I couldn't get on a plane, I couldn't fly. The minute even the flight name was taken and he, I could see the, the fear on his face. Two days before, I would start getting nauseous, start getting a panic attack. And then as it got closer and closer to the date of the flight, I got, I went like crazy, like I couldn't. And when I got in the airport, I, I was just a mess. I would be so weak, I would just feel miserable. We had to carry him. He would not walk. And on the plane was the worst. I'd be throwing up, unable to move, unable to eat. He would not touch the blanket or anything of the aircraft. Not the headphones, nothing. For example, a US flight. It was a 14 hour flight, I couldn't eat. I did lose around four kgs just throwing up. We used to keep his perfume and uh, I tried the motion sickness tablet. We used to have different kind of sign languages because he would not talk. I couldn't travel with my friends, I couldn't go on school trips and how many times my friends have asked me to go with them and I couldn't because I was embarrassed that they'd see me throw up or they'd be disgusted by it. My daughter would be very embarrassed so we used to take two seats separate. It was getting in the way of all the adventurous things that I wanted to do. It was heartbreaking. It was really heartbreaking. I heard a lot about uh, hypnotherapy before and uh, it has worked for a lot of people. And I said, let's try, make it happen and see. Let's go and see. Well, honestly, I thought that it wouldn't work. When I met Russell, he actually opened my eyes. I realized that it wasn't actually the fear of flying, but it was the scent of the airplane. All my parents and my family, they always told me that you're scared of flights. And I knew I wasn't scared of flights, but I got tired of arguing with them. So I just I got accepted it. As he was talking, I understand that he uh, does know what I'm talking about, and he understands what I was going through. So maybe he actually has a chance of helping me. And yes, he did. We talked about the issue my first time. Uh, he told me what the problem was, how he can help me, what he is gonna do and what he actually did. So the first session he would uh, put me in a, in a relaxed position, ca calm me down totally, and then he would start speaking. It's not scary at all. You're fully aware so you know what's happening around you and it made me much, much more confident right after the hypnotherapy session. I like the way he dealt with it, with what, Ro at Rohan's age, things would make him change. He was very with him, you know. I think that was really nice. He's a very kind man, and he is quite friendly. I mean, he'll never be too serious with you. He'll never, like, be too rude with you, but he will tell you to do some stuff. He will set some rules. If you follow it, if you believe in yourself, it probably will work. It depends on you, not Russell. It also depends on you. After a few sessions, I was more open to the idea and much more confident of getting on a plane than I was before. Even the, even the first flight right after, I had a short panic attack when I'm in there. I did what Russell told me to do on the plane. And I realized there's nothing to be afraid of. I didn't throw up, I didn't feel uneasy. I actually ate on the plane for the first time in maybe five or six years. I mean, he went uh, as a completely different person through the airport, through the aircraft, and went and came back, I mean he ate and he was just normal. I get on the plane confidently, I just go to my seat, relax, and I realize the plane is actually a nice place to be. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it?
it was like a big boulder off your shoulders literally if in case you are living with an issue any any fear it's it rules you his program free no fear does help a lot of people for me the fear was actually the smell and yes i was free of the fear of smell and i can confidently say i was, i can go on a plane without any problems now i'm so happy i can actually do the adventures myself and i don't have to suffer anymore it's like the whole feeling of being just free thank you thank you i always wanted to travel the world always it was an always ambition and thankfully now i can